Hey everyone, this is TCMTL. Uh, so this will kind of be like an announcements video that I am starting in the NPL minors now. Um, they were looking for an extra player just to replace one of their already existing teams, and so I just kind of messaged the guy and he let me in. Um, so we're actually starting off 0-2, which isn't great, minus 6, but hopefully we can pull it back. He's got a really cool team, which I really like. Um, so yeah, we're just going to start off with uh, Team Builder for Week 3 versus Moxie Inferni. Uh, so his team is Garchomp, Latios, Talonflame, Mega Blastoise, Leafeon, Cofagrigus, Miancha, Magnezone, Miltank, Rhyperior, Cloyster. Um, there wasn't really any draft system, it was just open draft. Uh, so he's got a ton of threats there. Um, so I have to prepare for it. Uh, first thing I see is that he has no Fairy type and no Steel type. So first off, we're just going to be dropping modest choice specs Draco meters from High Dragon here. Uh, it's got Draco, Dragon Pulse, Dark Pulse, Earth Power. Uh, this hits everything. I'm probably going to click. Nothing except for Dragon Pulse or Draco Meteor. Uh, Earth Power is just in case Magnezone is the only thing left. Uh, maybe our period as well. But um, it's just got enough defense to live a plus two Brave Bird from Sharp Beak Talent Flame. And then the rest of the speed because it outspeeds everything that it needs to outspeed. Um, I thought about Haban Berry, but I figured that um, I have enough switch ins to his two Dragon types, so I didn't think it was necessary. Um, this uh, modest Draco Meteor can 2 a KO uh, Spadef Meltank, and just nothing wants to come in on it at all. Uh, next up, uh, we got Clefable here with Moonblast, Grass Knot, Toxic, and Soft Whale, just a max uh, Spadef set with um, 24 speed, just in case he tries to speed creep me with anything like the Cofagrigus or the or the Miltank. Actually, no, not Miltank. Anyways, um, so yeah, uh, Grass Knot does 35% Minda Blastoise, which is what this is mainly switching into, as Flash Cannon and Hydro Pump both are not to it KOs. And. Moonblast is because Fairy Stab's always good, especially since he has two dragons. Uh, Grass Knot hit Mega Blastoise, obviously toxic in case I need to get... In case the um, Miltank is annoying, or Hyperior, Cloyster, those things can just get annoying. Coffee Gregus too. Um, anyways, moving on again. Uh, we got Lantern here. Uh, Skull Bolt, which heal that I protect. Uh, it's a mainly uh, defensive set, uh, because I want to switch into Talent Flame, as my team is pretty weak to that, actually. Um... Enough speed to outspeed a min speed Blastoise because from my draft he doesn't really have like any reason to run speed on it at all. And so I'm expecting to catch him off guard with this and hit him with a Volt Switch without him knowing what's going to happen. Uh, heal Belt because um, he's probably going to have Will Wisp on his Talon Flame because he sees I have um, some walls and so he's going to want to like burn those whenever he can. Uh, protect is just to get the free lefties because uh, Lantern doesn't have reliable recovery at, at all. Moving on, we have Shed Shell, Skarmory, because I don't want to get trapped by Magnezone, and I need this to switch into stuff like Garchomp and Latios, uh, Leafeon 2, uh, even Rhyperior, Miltank, Cloyster. It just switches into a lot. So it's just a max, uh, max special defensive set, because I need to switch into Latios mainly. But it can switch into other things, like if I need to switch into Garchomp, it can. Uh, it can take two Life Orb Fire Blasts. Uh, actually, it's a roll. Uh, since it's 10 out of lefties, it is a roll. Um, so Shed Shell actually uh, pairs perfectly because he can't just Volt Switch out. If he locks himself into Electro of the Move, I just go into Volt Absorb Lantern and also four times resist Flash Cannon, so it's a really good switch in. Uh, next up, we got Mega Sableye with Knock Off, Ice Punch, will -O and Recover. Uh, just def just uh, physically defensive, this is going to be my main answer to his, um, to his Guard Chomp, actually, because nothing can do it KO me unless he's Choice Banded Adamant, and in that case I just go into Skarmory. Um, also, this is, um, I don't think he'd bring Miencho just because I have this. Also, I don't think he'd bring Cofagrius because I have this. Uh, this just limits his team building because, um, it just makes me not able to bring a lot of things. Ice Punch is, in fact, the Twit KO on a offensive Garchomp. And, yeah. Uh, last one, we have Gengar here with Black Sludge, uh, Shadow Ball, Focus Blast, Willow, and Substitute. I didn't want to have Life Orb because I didn't want to be taking sub damage and then Life Orb damage after that. And... Sub will -Wisp because it can um, set up really easily versus the Miltank, because I'm very certain he'll bring Sap Sipper to counter the Superior that I have on my team, which I'm not bringing this week, just because of that Miltank. Um, so yeah, will -Wisp to get on it, Focus Blast to hit it, uh, doesn't have anything to resist Ghost except for the Miltank. And so yeah, let's get right into the battle. Uh, team matchup. Um, looks like he didn't bring the threat that I thought he would bring, like the Leafy on everything. I hit him in Cloyster, which is actually something that was kind of scary if you got up a Shell Smash. Anyways, uh, I'm just going to lead off the battle. Uh, I'm just going to go with Clefable as he goes Miltank. I just want, just because there wasn't really anything that could, he could really threaten me with. And so I didn't see Miltank really doing anything to me, so I just thought I'd throw up a Toxic on it. Let me move this out of the way. Sorry. 
Um, I decided to throw up a Toxic on it. I see Ash refills the Fling Toxic Orb, which was really cool on his part to hit the Sableye. Uh, I'm pretty sure he'll have Heal Bell on this, but it's just nice to have that there. Um, as actually, I'm going to go into Sableye now, as I think he'll go for Heal Bell or Stealth Rocks. Um, as he already flanked his Toxic Orb, I know I can get the Mega up without him hitting me. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Mega and go for the Will-O-Wisp, because I wanted to get residual damage on anything. Uh, he does go Talent Flame very nicely. I want to discard his set as he goes for Brave Bird. Also, I wanted to knock him off. I knocked the Sharp Beak, but looking at that damage, he doesn't have much attack investment at all on this. Uh, this for cover up. Uh, actually, he has, none, he has no attack investment, as I find out from later calcs. And after seeing this Brave Bird damage, it does absolutely nothing without the Sharp Beak. And this Skull does absolutely nothing. So that reveals that he's a max HP, max Bidef Talent Flame set. Um, yeah, I just switched out into High Dragon here, as I know I can eat up a Brave Bird. It does 80%. And he didn't know that I was modest specs, which is why he attacked, because he was expecting to live it. But no. Uh, he, does, he goes straight down. Uh, I go right into Sableye here. He goes for Draco, which reveals he's going to be a mixed set instead of just um, offensive. As Earthquake does, is not quite enough to take me out, I can get the recover off. And he's kind of in a losing battle, because he's going to be hoping for a crit. I just recover right back to full health. Uh, he goes into Blastoise. I go right into Clefable, this is the dedicated counter. And he goes for Earthquake, so I'm like, that's cool, he thought I'd go Lantern. And I, sw I double out into Lantern, because I thought he'd go into Magnezone there. And he goes for the Water Spell, which is really cool, because at full health, they can two-it KO the Clefable. Uh, I just wanted to Volt Switch out as he goes Magnezone. Uh, I guess he didn't want to risk me being faster at all. And I go into I go into Sableye to bait him to go for the Volt Switch. Alright, sorry about that cut there, guys. Um, anyways, so I'm back in with Lantern here. I just wanted to bait him to go for the electric move so I could get the volt switch to get the volt absorb back up. And I just volt switch out again as he stays in again, predicting me to volt switch out. And I just went into I just went into Gengar, because I was very certain he wouldn't go for the electric move. He'd go for a hidden power of some sort. And then he switches out into Miltech and to go for the focus blast. I get a crit, which is unfortunate for him as he's not able to scout on my set, but it kinda helps him because I'm not able to get up the free sub at all. Um, I double right back into Clay Vivable as, as I said, he's able to get the 2-hit KO with a Water Spout, which is still really cool. I love that. Um, I go Lantern as I know I outspeed him, and he, his switch into Wolt Switch would be his Garchomp. I, as he actually goes into it, as um, I just double right back into my... I think I went to Skarmory this time, because I didn't want Sableye to get crit or anything. He goes for Flamethrower. He gets a burn, unfortunate, but I didn't really need Skarmory at all. I just, got, I just wanted to get my rocks up to get the damage on Blastoise to put in range of Hydreigon, as at this point, it's looking to be an easy cleanup for it. Um, I just go right into Sableye. Again, it's the counter, so may as well use it. Goes for Draco, does a lot of damage. I go for the will to burn him, because now um, he won't quite be able to kill me with either Draco or the Earthquake. Or actually, no, he can't kill me with Draco. I just went for the Vol I just went for the will wisp in case he switched out. As he does say and just want to get the kill... Uh, which is really good for me, because this is the one thing that outspeeds High Dragon, and it'll wreck it, and will destroy the sweep. I go for the sub, because I thought he might want to try to switch into something, as he does just drop one more Draco and go down to Life Orb. And so at this point, all I really need is to weaken the Blasters and weaken the Magnezone to be able to sweep with um, High Dragon's uh, Dragon Pulse. Uh, he goes for Dragon Pulse of his own, uh, just to it KOs the Skarmory. I didn't need Skarmory anymore, um, just because it was burnt, or else I would have kept it for the Rhyperior. Um, I know he can't stay in, so I just go for the Draco meter. I get a crit on the Magnezone, but it was a 2-8 KO anyways, and I already found out he wasn't Scarf, so it didn't matter at all. Um, he goes into Rhyperior, as I just go into Lantern as a sack, as he gets his rocks up. And so what that means is I can't just bring in High Dragon every time. What I need to do is next time I bring it in, it has to stay in until the battle battle's over, or until everything's dead. I first Scald, and that reveals to me that he's a very specially defensive set. And uh, he goes Blastoise here. As I go for one, as I go for another skull, that's it would have killed him. And here, here's where the speed kind of comes in handy. I go for the volt switch, which which puts him in the 100% range of dragon pulse. Right here, he's already already in range of dragon pulse, so I can just sack the Gengar here, come in with high dragon, and I get to just go for Drake, just get to go for dragon pulse twice and win the game. Uh, good game, Mox Infernape. Um, because of the way that um, schedule kind of worked and how weeks were going slowly, he was actually. Um, Two weeks ahead already, just because um, he couldn't battle due to the, um, them looking for a replacement for the team that took over, and he was actually four and zero oh at that moment, and so I'm pretty I'm pretty happy to get a win over him, and yeah, it was a really good battle.
and I'll hope to have more success in the future as I'm one and two because of the team I took over. Anyways, see you guys later.